Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, I'm here again uh, from Shailene T5 Vermont Posturing. Our topic for today is regarding fans and blowers from uh, Power Industrial Plant Engineering. So, by the way guys, uh, what do you mean by fans or fan? Uh, fan is a machine used to apply power to a grass to, a grass to, to rise its energy content that cause movement of the gas okay so next is the blower blower is equipment or fan also which is used to force air under pressure that is resistance to the gas flow which imposed primarily upon the discharge next is the exhaust fan or exhaust air it's a fan which is used to withdraw uh, air under suction that is a resistance also to gas flow which imposed primarily upon the inlet or intake of the fan. And as we encounter in the actual practice, what are the common uses of fans in the uh, uh, construction or in the power plant? It can be used for ventilation, uh, air conditioning, uh, it also used for force and induced drop service for boilers, dust collections, drying and cooling of materials, cooling towers, heating, mine and tunnel ventilation, pneumatic conveying equipment and other uh, processes work. Okay, so what are the types of funds? Now we have here a list of type of fans. First is propeller fan. Propeller fan consists of this type well with mounting ring or plate and including driving mechanism supports either for belt drive or direct connection. Okay. So second one is the tube axial fan. It's having also a propeller within a cylinder including driving mechanism that supports either for belt drive or direct uh, connection drive okay the third one is the uh, vein axial fan it's a type of fan having a this type wheel within cylinder or a set of air guide veins located either before or after the wheel including driving mechanism that supports the belt drive connections and the uh, other one is a uh, centrifugal fan. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a rotor or wheel, ty wheel uh, type within a scroll type of housing, including driving mechanisms that supports either for belt drive connections or you know, direct connections. Okay, so these are the types of fans that we have encountered in the actual practice. Okay, now, uh, After we studied before for um, Bernoulli's equation, we will study now for the heat and power calculations for the fan. Now these are the basic assumptions. First is constant temperature. Uh, second is negligible uh, in velocity inlet. Okay, so capacity of fan uh, represents as Q. Normally, we are using Q as a uh, equation for fan, capacity of fan, which is equal to volume flow rate measured at outlet. A volume flow rate of fan is usually uh, re uh, measured at the outlet of the fan in terms of cubic meter per second or in terms of cubic foot per second. So, next is... The volume flow rate of fan or capacity of fan is equal to the area times velocity where the area is the area of the fan, uh, the diameter, which is the area of the fan times the velocity. Now the static pressure head uh, the equation is represent its is uh, means static pressure head in terms of meter of air or in terms of feet of air also. 
Now, the equation is H is equal to HW times DW over density of air where HW is the manometer rating in terms of uh, meters of water. Uh, DW is the density of water and it's equal to uh, standard uh, fact, uh, factor, nine point, standard value of 9.81 kN per cubic meter or 1,000 kg per cubic meter. And DE is the density of air uh, in terms of kN per cubic meter which is equal to 1.2 kg per cubic meter at a standard pressure or atmospheric pressure of 101.325 and a standard temperature which is 21.1 degrees centigrade. <coughs> now, the velocity head, next is the velocity head. Now, the standard equation for velocity head, yeah, HB is equal to the uh, velocity head to the exponent 2 or is squared over the, twice the gravitational acceleration or 2g so where its base velocity in meters of air uh, vo is the outlet velocity or the output velocity and g is the 9.81 meter per second standard value for gravitational acceleration so therefore total head will be uh, some the sum of the static pressure head plus the uh, velocity head which is equal to HS plus HB. Now, for the air power output or air power of the fan, the equation is equal to flow rate times the density of air times the total head of the air. It is Q, D, E, H in terms of kilowatts. So, meaning where Q is fan capacity in cubic meter per second, D, E is the density of air in kilonewton per cubic meter, H is the total head in meters. So, the other one, the uh, brake power or the input power of the fan is equal to air power, meaning output power, air power output over the fan efficiency. Okay. So, the standard air uh, we have considered is the pressure, which is 29.2 inches of mercury. Okay. Uh, Hg is a mercury, that's a symbol of mercury, Hg. Or in terms of kilopascal, uh, 101.325. And standard temperature for air is 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21.1 degrees centigrade. Now, applying the Bernoulli's equation to the fan, the basic assumptions we are considering is first, inlet and discharge static pressure. Uh, second, to be considered is the inlet and discharge velocities and the uh, constant temperature. Now, the total head is equal to, to static pressure head plus velocity head. This is now the equation for the head, which is difference of pressure head plus difference of velocity head. P2 minus P1 over W plus B2 squared minus B1 squared over 2G. That is a uh, difference of velocity head. Um, a final minus initial. Uh, next is, uh, by substituting the velocity head using the uh, density of air, it's W. This is the difference of static pressure head, which is it's W2 minus it's W1 times W over WA plus the difference of velocity head. So, P1 and H1, HW1 is negative if below atmospheric pressure. If, where P1 and HW1 is equal to in inlet static pressure rating. P2 and H2, HW2 is the discharge or outlet pressure rating. W is the density of water which is standard, 9.81 kN per cubic meter or 1000 kg per cubic meter. This heat of air is 1.2 kg per cubic meter at a standard pressure, atmospheric pressure of 101.325 kPa and temperature as well, which is 21.1. V1 is the inlet velocity in terms of meter per second. V2 is discharge velocity in meters per second. Now we are now we going to the affinity fan loss or uh, fan loss. 
first we have to consider is the variable speed. Now, if you have variable speed, meaning it has a constant fan size and constant density. So, these are the equations we are considering for variable speed. Q1 over Q2 is equal to N1 over N1. Okay? Where Q is the flow rate and in one is the speed of the fan and the other one is <coughs> h1 over h2 the head is equal to in one over in two raised to the power two or squared and the pressure head is equal to in one over in two to the power three now second is considering the variable density uh, having constant fan size and constant speed. So these are the equation for variable density. The flow rate Q1 is equal to final flow rate Q2. And uh, H1 over H2 is equal to D1 over D2. I mean D1, D1 over D2 is a density. Density of air. And the uh, other one is the uh, P1 over P2 is equal to D1 over D2. P1 is, and P is power. The ratio of power is equal to the ratio of density D1 over D2. Now, to discuss further, I will show you some example problem for uh, fun in order to proceed further. So here is the problem. How much horsepower supplied to air moving at 25 feet per minute through a 2 feet by 3 feet duct size under a pressure of 4 inches water gauge? So as you can see in the problem, the requirement is uh, air power. Air power, which is uh, in terms of horsepower. How much is supplied? in order that the air move at a speed or velocity of 25 feet per minute through a ducting uh, cross-section of 2 feet by 3 feet under a pressure of 4 inches water gauge. So, uh, solution is Q, we have to solve first the Q means the fan capacity is equal to area times velocity is equal to area of the fan is Consider there uh, 2 by 3, 2 feet by 3 feet, okay, times the velocity which is given uh, 25 feet per minute. So we need to convert um, 25 feet into tw 25 cubic feet per minute. We need to convert the minute in seconds. That's why we divide it by 60. So the fan capacity is 2.5 cubic feet per seconds. Now for the head of this particular problem, uh, it's W times DW over DA is equal to the HW is given here, the pressure head is 4 inches. And the density of water Standard is 62.4 pounds per cubic feet over the A. Uh, so, 4 inches is divided by 12 in, so that it will be in terms of feet. So, the head is equal to 20.8 over the A feet of air, where the A is density of air. Okay? So, to calculate further, uh, air power or is equal to flow rate times density of air times the head or total head is equal to 2.5 Q is already computed above 2.5 cubic feet per second times the density of air okay times the head which is 20.8 over da so cancel the density of air da and then the, re the unit will be uh, 4 pounds per second. So we need to convert 4 pounds per second into horsepower. So in every horsepower, in every one horsepower, there will be 
550 foot pounds per second. That's why we divided by 550. So the resulting value for the air power is equal to 0 0.0945 horsepower. So this is the final answer for the problem that we are uh, solving. So I hope guys uh, this problem will will be helpful to some engineers who are uh, working in the field or designing for uh, fun construction or some industrial plan. And this uh, also can be helpful to students who are studying engineering uh, for fans, fans and blowers uh, subject. So again guys, um, thank you for watching and kindly subscribe our channel para mas marami pa kaming videos na maisishare in future. And uh, again, uh, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.